Hi friends, this is MD Vegan. I'm making a new blueberry pie today and I'm making it with a little um, more, I'm with a different color because I put bananas into the blueberry filling and um, that makes a whole difference. I'll show you in a moment. First I make the crust and uh, it is a crust um, for a little larger uh, spring form, more than 20 centimeters in diameter. <coughs> so that's why I take more almonds, uh, uh, two, even a little bit more than two cups almonds here, a little bit more than two cups would that be, um, into the food processors fitted with the S-plate. That is what I always make my crust with. I make a um, raw food cake like this with the nuts on the base. That is very nice to have a food processor. You can also make the bottom without nuts, <coughs> without almonds. You take just dates, yeah, hack them and um, knead them into like a dough and then roll it. Like classic potato, you can do that too. Maybe to put a little bit of coconut flour in there yeah, to make it a little bit more easy and not so sticky. Then you have also have a dough, but it's a lot more work. And if you like, it's not good. Remember the video has an orange cake, I have that. Uh, Brazil orange cake you can watch. So now <clears throat> some rounds here. It's a coarse meal, almond meal, coarse. You see? This is coarse. Yeah. It depends on how, how fine you want it, or how coarse you want it. Um, this is okay for me now. Uh, you can make it finer or more coarse. So here are 20 dates. I have a more dates today. 20 dates, small dates, pitted. They go in to make the dough sticky. And the more dates you take, the stickier it gets, the easier it gets to make a dough. The less dates, it's not that sweet as you prefer. <coughs> it takes a little bit longer for the dough to get sticky. So that's also a practical reason to take more dates. And I have a large tablespoon or two of cinnamon powder. Um, that is a very nice spice for um, together with almond uh, with, with blueberries, perfectly together, and also nice um, for sweet flavors. And cinnamon is super high in antioxidants, one of the healthiest spices there are. That's now my sticky dough. Sticky dough. This takes a little bit longer, maybe two or three minutes processing, full speed. It depends on your high speed blend on your pro food processor. I show you what I call is a sticky dough here. In this case, I um, put the fingers together with a little bit of dough and it sticks together. That's sticky. And that is sticky enough for my crust. Here, parchment paper, I have to get it off easier. And I take out the blade. And first I Bring all the sticky down into the spring form on the bottom. You have a nice tool for this. It comes with the food processors. If you have a, want to have a food processor, uh, you better make sure that the, uh, the tools that come with the food processors are, 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 are versatile. Yeah, you can check that before you buy it. I also always go into an online store um, to have all the tests. I have available the latest tests and then with that knowledge I go into a shop, a big shopping mall or something where they have all the food processors and there's always a person usually that knows, uh, if not a little person, maybe a housewife or something working there and they can explain everything about the tools and then you can order online or whatever if they have a good deal. That's the way, um, it's a good way to, to get, um, make a make good uh, purchase. And uh, yeah, the tools coming with the food processors are also important. Uh, now I press it down. First I uh, spread it evenly, then I begin to press it down using my body weight and the knuckles here. Uh, then I have another tool, and it's okay with the hand. And it takes for a moment, I do it thoroughly, because I want to have a nice and firm crust that keeps its shape when I cut a piece out of the cake. So I'll come back in a moment when I'm done. Well, the crust is ready. It's, it's nice firm crust. And 
can vary. You want to have a thicker crust or a thinner crust. That's, that's all up what you like to. It has to be firm to keep its shape. So that's why pressing is important. So now, the last step, very simple also, the filling. And it's a blueberry pie. So I have uh, all the blueberries. That's the main ingredient. But I said I want to have a different color today. The last time I made a blueberry pie was a very dark blueberry color. And they are very predominant. That's also why they are so healthy. They have wonderful blue color. Dark, you see. And uh, this is frozen. One package, that's a, maybe a pound or so. Um, and I put them right into the blender. And what's important um, to um, thaw them before they before you use, I use them in the food process in, in the blender, I have to thaw them. Otherwise, the, the food processor will have a hard time <coughs> uh, to process them. And uh, as I use uh, uh, another color today, I will put bananas in. I have here four bananas, yeah, in small pieces. They go right on top. That makes a different color. And to make it firm. I put cashews in, a handful of cashews. Yeah, that's, I like to make a little bit of cheesy cake, so a little bit of firmness. Um, some a handful of, um, or half or a, maybe a cup, yeah, not, maybe not a whole cup of cashews, maybe three quarters of a cup. So you have a nice firm texture, otherwise um, you need more um, coconut oil to firm it up. So this is a cashew, and now the fourth part is a lemon. That goes very nice, nicely with both blueberries and bananas as a perfect together with banana um, to keep the color. That's not important here, but the flavor, yeah. Fla uh, lemon and banana flavor, very nice together. As I feel, I, yeah, oh. very nice also with blueberry, the, the lemon. Yeah. The, the blueberry is a little bit sour and responds a lot to the lemon. So now I blend it, I hope it works now. <laughs> filling here I need some coconut oil and I have it on a water bath you see I have a little container below here the water bath on top is a coconut oil a metal here container and that makes it easy to to melt it uh, the hot water in the container melts um, the oil very quickly careful now it goes in at last, after everything is blended, because if I put it in first, then um, some of the oil can go to the sides of the blender, cool down and stay on the sides of the blender without going into the filling. And that is not intended. It should be all in the filling, not on the sides of the blender. I need all the oil for the furnace of the filling. <laughs> Now what I need for my, so I want for my filling. Now I put it into the, into the cake, into the form, into the uh, crust, just like this. That's all. It's warm outside, so everything is, seems to be pretty runny. But I guess as soon as it's in the fridge, uh, overnight I guess, it will be firming up into a nice firm filling. So. Show you what's here. See, it looks pretty runny, yes. That's very good for the blender and very easy to process them. Everything. Um, 
but in the fridge it will firm up soon. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. It's very easy to make a live cake. Yeah? Live bakery is uh, so nice and tomorrow friends will come and after um, one night in the fridge will be firm up and cut a piece and serve it. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And if so, thumbs up. You can also subscribe and review on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Hey, that's one day later and I'm pretty happy with my result. You touch the surface here, I see it's firm. So and that is a pretty quick um, a way to see if the filling has firmed up. Sometimes if I make a new filling, it can be that it's not um, firm enough after one day or so. And um, then if it's still runny, I can take all of it out and put more um, binder in it, yeah, thickener, and uh, try it again, put it back in the fridge. That can, that, usually that works, uh, but, but that's why I touch it first here like this with the hand on the foil, you see, this foil, I put the foil on top uh, to avoid the puddles here of water. So when I touch this here, I, I notice it's firm. It's firm, I can, now I can open it and cut my first piece out of the cake. I'll show you that now. And you have an idea. So this is the foil. I take it aside. I, I use it again. When I put it back into the fridge, I can put the, use the foil again. So here's my cake. This, this is the surface, you see, without the foil. It's okay. Looks nice. And here I have this knife. It's a knife with a thin and yeah, flexible blade. Very light knife, and I try if I can open it without using the knife at first. And sometimes the surface um, cracks open because it sticks, the cakes, the filling sticks to the side of the of the of the of the spring form. But now that seems not to be the case. No, otherwise I would have taken the knife and walk go around like this. Yeah, then it is safe. But in this guy, I didn't even need to do it, yeah, so I can open it easily and take off um, the spring form. Put on the foil now. I have the cake here, and it looks very nice. There is the, um, the bottom of the cake of the of the spring form and the parchment paper on top. And now I will cut a piece out of it. So I have a knife, and it has to be clean, of course. And I begin. I just can use the parchment paper to hold the cake, to hold the tag against the, the parchment paper. I press a little bit to the cake and I put the knife into the middle, put it down right through the bottom. And now I cut just easily cut out the first line here. And that feels good, all okay. And then second line again in the middle. Push right down, and again, one more line. And now my piece is cut. I can take the same mouse, mice, and um, uh, knife, and take the piece out like this. And if I my cutting was okay, was a good cut, then it should work, and it does. You see, this is the cake, the piece. I will put it on a plate. I'm ready. A little cake here, a uh, little plate on the tape on the uh, for the cake on the plate. Careful, I have to be focused now. Yeah, I'll show you. So this is a piece of my blueberry pie, my new one. It's, it's nice, right? <laughs> it looks perfect. It's very simple, of course. You can make it more sophisticated if you like. This is just a base. Yeah, you can just, for example, a blueberry marmalade on top. A little bit of thickener inside, whatever you like, and make a little just blueberries, maybe a little th a thickener, or just pour the blueberries over. You have whole blueberries. You can give so many variations. Yeah, this is just blueberries. Here, very simple. Yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, the banana makes the color a little bit lighter, a little bit more pinkish. Yeah, um, and yes, uh, enjoy. My friends come tonight, and I will serve this cake to my friends. So. 
I can, uh, I can make uh, more cakes when more friends come. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to make smaller cakes, smaller pies, for myself only. Otherwise, um, they take too long. But keep maybe a, for a week in the refrigerator, if it's really good refrigerated, with the foil and everything. We'll keep for a week or so without any problem, I guess. It depends on the cake a little bit. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah I told you a story already. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Subscribe, and leave on YouTube. Give me a thumbs up. All that. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.